In this video, I'm going to show you how to reprice your products based on ROI using SKU Grid, so it's going to be automated. And you're going to use the help of my Excel system that I created, which is going to actually generate the SKU Grid formulas that you need and then upload them to SKU Grid in bulk. So I'm going to explain all that in a second, but uh, let me talk about why you should do this, right? Now, repricing products based on ROI, not margin. This is a better way to reprice products because now you're setting the price based on the amount of money that you want to earn on your investment. Currently, when you are repricing an item on SKU Grid, if you click on, let's say this is an item that I've added that I'm selling on Amazon. If I click edit on this item, normally I would go to edit, use wizard, and then I have my settings for tax, 8%, for the margin, that I want to make 15%, right? Amazon fees, 15%. Okay, that's fine, but I don't wanna do this based on margin anymore. I want my price to be based on ROI. So this, there's a big difference between 15% margin and 15% ROI, all right? So um, for ROI, I have to use my own customized formula, right? Which is what my Excel system allows you to do. So now I'm gonna jump right in and show you how to use my Excel system to do this. Okay, the, the system is called a skew grid repricing CSV generator. And what is helpful is if you are already using my Amazon dropshipping general Excel system. And if you already have the ASINs listed, the SKUs, the URLs, the variations, if you have everything already in place, then this will be mostly copy and paste, right? So you're going to take the ASINs, for instance, and just copy them over to the repricing system right here, okay? Um, now, it's important to point out this system is not doing the repricing. Maybe I shouldn't even use the word repricing just yet. It is actually generating the skew grid formula, okay? So that's what this system creates the skew grid formula that we're gonna send to SKU Grid, which will then do the repricing that we need, right? So, but let's get the information that we need. We have the ASIN, and then we have the SKUs, and we'll put the SKUs in here as well. We have the source URLs, and I'll show you why we need all of this stuff as well. And I'll paste that in here, and it's very important in this process that you have the exact correct variations. So when you're adding your items to skew grid, if you're adding them, when they have variations, um, you should make sure you add them individually so that you get to actually see this variation right here, true black oak. So you have the exact variation because if you just put black, black is not gonna register as the same as true black oak right it has to match exactly on the website and then match on skewbird okay so just wanted to point that out about the variations now let's get right into it the number of units so this is really for multi-packs if the product is not a multi-pack you just put the number one but there are times that you're selling two right like it might be a two-pack or something like that so then you need to put a two here if it's a two-pack all right and when you do that, the formula will multiply the price, will be multiplied by uh, that um, by that number, okay? So, which is two in this case. So, since it's not a multi-pack, we'll just put the number one here, okay? Now, then we have the unit price discount percent. So, this is for situations where the supplier is giving you a discount on the unit price but that that discount does not show up at the supplier website okay so um, that can happen with there's certain suppliers that have a membership for instance and they give you a certain discount so if that happens you just put the discount like if you're getting a 20 percent discount on the item you put 20 percent in here and it will 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 be reflected in the formula by multiplying by 80 percent all right Okay, so if there's no discount, please just leave a blank. Same thing with shipping. Sometimes the shipping that the website has, right, like Walmart will probably charge you $5.99 shipping for this item. 
all right but let's just say for some reason you have some kind of special where you're not going to pay shipping your shipping is going to be you're going to get free shipping on this product every time well then you should put a zero here which means your shipping cost is not is actually zero all right but again if if you're not getting any special uh, discounts or anything on on this please just leave it blank if you put a zero that will mess it up so just leave it blank but if you're getting free shipping then you put a zero okay so those are two special columns now if you're not using those just move on to tax and how much tax do you generally expect to pay and you can put the number here and this is good because if you're getting if you're tax exempt you can put zero here and then the tax just won't be included in the formula okay but if you do put tax you'll see in the formula after it adds the price to the shipping that it multiplies by 1.08 that means increase the tax right increase the cost by eight percent right it adds on the eight percent okay the other thing is are you paying a marketplace fee right no of course you are right if you drop shipping on Amazon sell on Amazon in general you're generally paying a 15 percent fee you put that in that information is also needed by the formula at the end of the formula and transaction fee doesn't really apply to Amazon this is more for eBay and other marketplaces where they charge a transaction per sale so if you want to use this sheet for eBay as well which you can then you would put the transaction fee in here okay desired ROI so here's the main thing like how much ROI do you actually want to make on the product so if you want to make 20% you put 20% here and then in the formula it will take the cost after tax after everything has been added on and it will multiply it or increase it by 20% automatically which is how you get a 20% ROI okay anytime you ask for a certain ROI you're actually increasing the price by that ROI when I say 50% ROI it means I'm increasing the price by 50% but then I have a seller fee okay so because of the seller fee um, I have to raise the price even a little more to accommodate the seller fee and that's what this at the end will do the divided by 0.85 which is 100% minus 15% okay that will account for the seller fee at the end by dividing by the 15% so this formula when plugged into skew grid skew grid will run the formula it will generate and it will generate a price that is going to give you this ROI based on whatever you gave it based on one unit based on 8% tax and based on the 15% sell fee okay so you will have um, a huge benefit here by having the exact correct price for the ROI that the ROI that you want to make now uh, once you do that okay once you fill this in you have to actually upload these formulas now you could technically you could go to each product individually right in skew grid like this product you'll notice that when you scroll down there's this crazy formula here now the reason why this formula you might be wondering why skew grid's formula is so crazy and then my formula is so much shorter well the reason is that skew grid's formula has to uh, account for all the different remember they have a lot of different little settings in here that people can add right they have fixed margin they have PayPal and Amazon they have all these different things going on here okay so they need to be able to accommodate for those different things uh, my formula is more direct it's just for ROI I'm focusing just on the cost of the product and the ROI I want to make so I'm able to create a very exact formula so um, one thing you can do if you go to the CSV tab this takes what you put in over here it takes the formula that was generated over here and what it does is it pulls it pulls it together into a CSV format that you can actually take the, this um, CSV data you could copy it out put it in a separate file and upload it into skew it but as I was going to say the other option is you could literally just take this formula copy it okay you could go to skew grid you could take all of this out just get rid of it and just put this formula here this much more simple formula which is just based on ROI and this will work okay and you can go ahead and update the item with that formula and it will 
um, create a price based on that okay but again if you have uh, but if you have tons of products I mean this is only four products or if you have not even uploaded the products yet we can do this in bulk okay this is a CSV file for SKU grid and the way that that works I'm gonna go to SKU grid you go to import export you go to import CSV okay and I need to point out a few things just a couple things one is notice the reprice store so you need to know your price store now this video um, is more I am focusing mainly on Amazon drop shippers uh, being that this is on an Amazon drop shipping channel but um, you might be drop shipping on Walmart or on eBay and other marketplaces so whatever marketplace you're selling on just find it in here because the Excel system will work for any marketplace right so if you're selling on Walmart US for example this will be your reprice store if you're selling on Amazon US then this will be your reprice store Amazon US will be your reprice store and it's very important that that reprice store okay that you put that in here so as you can see I have Amazon US in here because this is for selling on Amazon but if you're selling on another marketplace put your marketplace here instead okay so just want to get that out of the way and then for reprice SKU it's taking the Amazon ASIN if you're on another marketplace you have to put whatever the product ID is for that marketplace and Amazon it's an ASIN the reference reference is really optional usually we just use the SKU all right it's just like a kind of another additional ID uh, but this is the reprice SKU right so this is what SKU grid is actually going to use all right the ASIN okay but this is kind of like a name for the product okay then the, the URL of each product the variation again it's very important variation is exactly what it is on the supplier website and then we have the the formula so I can just take this all of this and copy it into a new blank sheet all right and then what you should do is save this file as a CSV file all right go to file save as you go to save as type you change that to CSV right Make so once you're ready to upload your CSV you're going to go to SKU grid I removed the item for this and um, you can go to import export and then import CSV and then choose CSV file and you will simply click on the file and click open and as long as the CSV is set up properly the four items on the CSV should be imported and as you can see here they are they get imported right away all right so right away I have the Walmart links to the items and then I have the Amazon links as well and it might take a little time for the repricing but you'll see that the formulas okay what I'll do is I'll go ahead and click edit on this item and let you see that the skew grid formula that I generated is actually right here where it says sell and price formula so as you can see as you can see you can actually generate your own formulas and then upload them into skew grid and they will work just like the formula that skew grid creates itself but by generating your own formula using my Excel system um, what this does is it is allowing you to um, generate prices that give you the exact ROI that you're trying to earn so let's say you want to 20 percent on this item but now you change your desired ROI on a future date to 10 percent for instance if the item doesn't sell at 20 percent let's say you lower it effect let's say you just lower it to 15 percent right well now the formula will reflect the 15 percent ROI rather than 20 percent so you could simply update the formula now you could re-upload everything all over again or you could just take this formula um, from here and actually you'd want to go to the CSV tab because on this tab it's a formula so I need to go to the CSV and I'll take this first item and then you can simply copy it and you could actually just update the formula with your 15% um, ROI rather than 20 right so you could keep updating these formulas this way and 
as I mentioned before, of course, you don't have to do it individually. You could also do it in bulk by simply taking the whole CSV because you might be updating, for instance, um, this is only four items. You might be updating 100 items all at the same time. You might decide to bring the ROI down on everything, right? And so you may not want to go to each product and update the formulas one by one. So once you make your changes here, all the formulas are going to change here. It will all be copied over to this CSV tab. You can just take everything on this page, put it in a brand new CSV file, and you can upload it to SkewGrid, and you'll be able to change all of those products. Okay, you'll be able to change the formulas for all of those products all in one shot at the same time. So that's really um, one of the powerful things about generating your own formula. Um, for skew grid. All right, that's one of the things. So um, that's basically how this works. Uh, I would imagine it's something that you're going to have to try. So go ahead and get a copy. I'll have a copy available through a link in the description of this video. If you're not already using skew grid, you can try the skew grid link, which will allow you to do a free trial as well. But if you're already using skew grid, then um, I would say go ahead and download this file and try it out with some products, generate some formulas. Again, you don't have necessarily have to upload them by CSV if you're not comfortable with that process. You can always copy the formulas individually as I demonstrated before into that particular product formula and replace the formula. But um, find a way to use it because I think it will be really benef it's really beneficial to you when you can reprice your items based on the exact ROI and this is something that helped me to increase my sales tremendously uh, within the money that I had available from one month to another so um, I would definitely suggest you try it out and then if you have any comments any questions or any suggestions about it please let me know you can let me know right here on YouTube in the comments or you can respond to the email, which will be auto uh, automatically sent to you once you decide to subscribe for a copy of the system. This is Mr. Mark, Excel for Amazon Dropshipping, and hopefully I'll see you in another video.